Today, I'm in the southern highlands of New South Wales to visit the garden of an Aussie icon. Scottish-born Jimmy Barnes has been a bedrock of the Aussie music scene for close to 50 years. From the heady days of cold chisel and flame trees, the most famous song about an Australian plant, to a barrow full of solo albums, he could be forgiven for thinking he'd done it all. That is, until 2020, when Jimmy Barnes became a gardener. Like most of us recently, Jimmy and Jane, his partner in life and work for 40 years, have been grounded. Live music and the performing arts were one of the first industries to be shut down. This gave Jimmy and Jane the rare opportunity to experience the four full seasons in this garden. I love being down here because you actually get four seasons. A lot of places you know, around Sydney, you just sort of, it's like, it's like pretty close to similar all year round. This way, it gets, gets cold every night, you can sleep. The autumn's beautiful down here, the spring's gorgeous, summer's hot, so you can swim in the river, you know, and winter just rains every day, so it's a bit like Scotland for me. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. You know, I left Scotland when I was pretty young, but I do like to feel the seasons change, and, and as devastating as COVID's been for a lot of people, and for, you know, we haven't seen a lot of family, but uh, we really enjoyed just sitting still and just, you know, learning to sit and be, you know, with, with yourself. Now, I've heard from reliable sources that you've got a, a passion for roses. Yeah, I love them. I think they're beautiful, yeah. I think it's my favourite. How did that come about? Well, you know, I mean, I, I, like, I always liked them. And, uh, you know, and, uh, you, know, you get a great garden rose that smells so beautiful. You know, and, um, and then, of course, once we, we got here and, and, and we had the garden and, and, and we had some established roses growing, um, I just I just sort of started looking and I started you know picking a few for Jane and then and then we added added to it we started getting you know, roses from friends I had a had a 60th birthday and we and instead of presents I said bring me a rose so everybody sort of picked their favourite rose came and we planted it and that way it's sort of the, the gift that keeps on giving yeah you know? exactly so I figured I couldn't come without contributing to the rose garden and this one is a special one because it's got family significance for me right. This is my grandmother's favourite rose, the Double Delight. Beautiful. And my mum loved it, my sister loved it, and it has this beautiful red and yellow, almost swirl through it, but wait till you smell it. Right. The fragrance is next level. The great smell of a garden rose, there's nothing better. Yeah, better. yeah, this one is, oh, this one's a ripper. That's so good, where are we gonna plant it, you reckon, huh? Well, there's a couple of gaps here. A couple of good here, spots. Uh, so there's a couple of, and get, everywhere gets lots of sun here, so it's yeah. really good. I think somewhere in the middle there. Yeah, somewhere there could be good. Yeah. But, uh, oh, thanks, pal. This and, is a really great gift. And I had to, because can't, you, can't you can't give, give one. one. <laughs> no. And, and I could have gotten two different ones, but I think you're going to love this bouquet no, so nice much. No, it's nice to have it in. It's I'm nice to have two. We'll put that one up in here, and I'll plant them once you guys go. Yeah, but, uh, fantastic. Well, that's real, what a great gift. Because, you know, like, you give somebody a gift and, you know, it's gone and a bottle of wine or something's yeah, yeah. gone. This is something that they'll be here forever, you know? And it'll be, I'll be the next person who moves into this house when I die will say, what, where'd that beautiful rose come from? And I like the thought that whenever you, now and then when you pick one, you might go, no, oh, that's right. That, that that's bloke. A, what's that fella's name? Yeah, of course, I love it. Yeah, some, some that guy. Greek fella. Yeah. <laughs> Look, and I knew it was coming down, so I brought my clippers just in case we needed them. <laughs> Carrying them around everywhere with me now. The Barnes's garden has hives of honeybees, a developing orchard, and a luscious little veggie patch. Wow, great Ooh. veggie patch. How important is it for you to grow and eat your own food? Well, we, we planted our favourite things, because we don't grow everything that we eat, but it's always nice to have you know, the freshness of the herbs and come out and pick a bit of, you know, this, leaves, uh, lettuce. And this patch and... is sort of the, the near fill, you know. We come in here, like, this is like what we use more often, like grab the herbs, you know, grab Garlic some shallots have... or some wild greens and stuff. Yeah, you know? so what these a, are the near what ones. What a little bits are in season. So what are you selecting from the garden? Well, I thought I'd get some oregano, fresh oregano especially, and we're doing a bit of lamb too, so maybe a rosemary will go with that too. And some some parsley. Um, I'll grab a few lettuce leaves for our salad, maybe, and a few flowers, Costa. Are you good with the edibles? Yeah, edible definitely. Flowers? 
I'm just starting to get used to the idea of eating flowers, <laughs> by the way. You know, this, it is a, a new thing. Scottish people don't eat flowers, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're so new age. I can't believe it. You, 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 so you know we've are you got... barefoot as well? No, no, no. That'll be next. Food is at the heart of the garden and family life for the Barnes clan. We are a touring family. Jane's been in the band for quite a few years now, but before that, she always toured with me anyway. We were always on the road with the kids and all that. So whenever we got the chance to be home, mm. cooking and it's our Being in our space was, just, was brought joy to us, you know? And, and relaxes us, and we're not at work then. What do you love most about this garden? Obviously, I like the, the rose garden, but there's lots of parts that I like. I mean, there's little places down the bottom here where, you know, you walk through the trees, and it's sort of like a secret garden, and you come out, and you're just on, right on the bend of the river, and that's where I quite often see, you know, echidnas and, and things like that. And I love Daphne. I've got about 50 bushes in. But I love all the gums. I just look at them and uh, they feel like they've got spirit. While life for the Barneses is firing up, the last couple of years with their family and garden have changed their outlook. <laughs> it's really just such a gift and mm. it brings you joy. I've spent my life sort of in crowds and in making racket and jumping around like a lunatic, just to sit and look in. But it's, you it's talk me to, to the that. birds and the bees. I talk, yeah, and they come and talk to me every <laughs> so, day. Yeah, so it's good. Who knew? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I couldn't come and visit you and talk gardening yeah. without bringing a specific iconic gift because I didn't know if you've got one of these, do you? A bracket chitin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a bracket chicken, no. <laughs> Let me put it. Illawarra flame tree. I don't have one. So I thought this one you can have in a in a nice pot and keep it small. Yeah. But then I thought, well, you know, I can't just give you something small. We've got to go big. Big, big. Because that was a big hit. It was a big hit. It was a big, big song. And so there's it's the, it's the album version and yeah. the single. This is the single. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Oh. That's so nice. We'll call it Costa. <laughs> <laughs> Costa the flame tree. Well, it's um, just a real no, pleasure. I'll, I'll come out and bring the guitar out. We'll sing it one day underneath the tree and send yes. it to you. Yeah, when, when the tree comes yeah, up really, a bit it'd be more. beautiful. When there's some flames on it. Okay. All right, that's there a deal. you go. That's a deal. The first flames, that's beautiful. I'll be down here. The first flames, you'll we'll be down. We'll be singing together. Okay. I love the green. And they'll, they'll blind the weary drivers as they're driving in. <laughs>